it's Laura and you're watching Laura XI and today I am here with my makeup collection so if you want to see what my little small makeup collection is keep watching. Okay so let's start with the top so I have all my lipsticks here I have a Kiko one here that is like that kind of colour I'm really into nude lipsticks so it's kind of a nudie colour and then we have three MAC lipsticks that's Velvet Teddy, that's Whirl, and then that is Sin. Sin is like so worn down now by the way, because like I've used it so freaking much. It's just one of those ones that I just constantly use, um, which is awesome. And then behind that I have a Max Factor in the colour Rosewood, because who else is missing Pretty Little Liars? And then I have two Tanya Burr ones, so I have Pink Cocoa and Big Kiss, which is a nude and a red. And then I have this Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick in the colour Nude Thrill. And then up here I just have some random lipsticks, so I've got the Rita Ora um, in the colour Rita's Red, which was the Fifty Shades Darker collection. So I've got that one, which is quite nice. I wore that for my Fifty Shades Darker tutorial, like, review. This one is my, like, go-to lipstick when I was, like, really starting to get into lipsticks. And this is Heather Shimmer by Rimmel. Um, and then we have Blake Lively's Red, Pure Red, which is by L'Oreal. And I love Blake Lively, so I had to get that one. And then we have this, which is the Barry M Coco Loco. I just let to stick that there. I used to have a lot more lipsticks, but I threw a lot out when I was going to like coming home from university. Behind that, I have a Barry M like pencil sharpener. Then I have tweezers from Primark, which have little flamingos on them. And then I have a Tanya Burr face illuminator. I have it sitting there because it won't fit anywhere else. And then on to nail polishes, I have. The collection 7 day wear and these are my only nail polishes, the ones that are sitting in here because I really threw a lot of them out. So I have this one in the colour, I don't know what the colour is. Then I have a nail base and top coat, a Salony Henson hardener, Barry M in espresso, um, then we have a Sinful Cosmetics one. But I don't know what colour this is in. Not a clue what colour this is in. Rich and Heart. Then I have a white Barry M. I think I need to get a new one. Um, behind that I have one of my favourite nail polishes which is the Nails Ink for InStyle. It's a kind of bluish colour. But I really, really love this. I think it's so stunning. But then my favourite nail polish colour is here. And it is this. It's a Primark colour but it is so lovely, honestly. It's one of the best colours you'll get. And then I have my NYX matte finisher that does not have a lot left in it. Okay, so moving on, I like to call this my miscellaneous drawer, but it really isn't. This is all the stuff I wear on a daily basis. So that's my uh, eyebrow palette. I have some Kiko um, single eyeshadows. Another one there. I have another which I really use a lot and that is the Rimmel Brow This Way. I have my mascara which is the Miss Hippie one. Then I have this which I'm obsessed with and have been for years. It's the Colour Tattoo in On and On Bronze. Like I love this and everyone used to rave about this but I absolutely adore this. Then I have my eye primer. If you can see that. I have two NYX eyeliners in pink and in green because I love these. I think they're vi they're the vivid brights but one's in I think Envy and the other one's in if it focuses. Yeah so I have them. They're really good. I have NYX Glitter. I'm a big fan of NYX and their glitter. Then I have two NYX Glitters. So yeah I have a bronze and a kind of tealy colour which is nice. Then I have my everyday eyeliner, my waterline, my everyday liquid liner, which I need to get more of. The stuff I've been obsessed with, which is the Magnifies by um, Rimmel, which is Queen of the Bronze Age. 
don't laugh, but I have a Topshop freckle pencil because I do love freckles, not gonna lie. Brow gel that is definitely the new one of it. And a NYX white eyeliner. So now on to my nude lipstick drawer. So this, I have the NYX Liquid Suede and this one is Sandstorm. Then I have the other Liquid Suede. And I think, I can't remember what this one is. I don't remember what they are. That's Soft Spoken. Then I love this. This is a Velvet Lip Liqueur um, in the colour Tranquility. And this is actually a very good dupe for uh, Dolce by, or whatever the one you call it, by Kaylee Cosmetics. And then I just have a load of lip liners, which I seem to love, to be really honest with you. There's quite an eclectic mix, to be honest. So I have, oh god, there's quite an eclectic mix, to be honest. So I have like, so I have like two by the M and ten of my Sue. I have a Topshop one, which I love, and this is in the, a contour pencil, and this is in the colour Frame. Then I have a NYX one in the colour Natural. Um, I have a Kiko one in the colour 301. Then I have a Max Factor one in the colour Pink Princess, which goes really nice with Rosewood. Thank you, Gabby, for telling me that. And then I have two Rimmel ones. Uh, one in the colour Tiramisu. And then one in the colour... Addiction, so that's basically all my nudes. So now we're on to my kind of red and darker lipstick drawer. So I have Santa Baby by Lush, which I love. Um, I have Night Moth by MAC, which goes really good with Sin. I have another lip, NYX lip liqueur in the colour Brooklyn Thorn. Um, and then I have another one in the colour Downtown Beauty, which is a really nice brown. And then I have a MAC Prep and Prime, which is brilliant for your lips, by the way. Um, then I have a Makeup Academy Black Lipstick that I got for Halloween. Sorry about my phone just went off. Um, then I have a lip liner in the colour... Um, Wheels on Fire by Topshop. It's a good red lip liner, so I just kind of keep it. And then I have Revolution, and it's like a kind of duo, so it's like a lip kit, but which is quite cool. So I have that. And finally, this is very much my face drawer. So first of all, I have the NYX HD powder, my favourite highlighter ever, which is the Revolution Vivid Bait Highlighter. I have a Stroll Cream by Barry M, which is in the colour um, Iced Bronze. Then I have my BB Cream Glam Nude. I am in the colour Light to Medium. My favourite uh, primer, which is the L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Primer. L'Oreal Infallible Matte Powder in the colour Sand Beige. Infallible Sculpt Contour Palette. And finally, my favourite ever blush, which is the NARS Orgasm Blush. I love this. showed you but there's a drawer here and that is just full of all my palettes so I have like the Naked palette, Naked Smoky, Revolution Fortune Favours the Brave, an Elf Urshalon, Tanya Burke Cosmetics, this is the Hollywood one, what else have I got? the Makeup Revolution, the Dead or Alive that I got for my birthday from Isla. Uh, the Collection Conceal and Light palette, which I never use. 
You see, I've got like loads of things in here that I can't show you. Like I don't want to show on camera. Like it's just kind of loads of kind of random stuff. I've got the Tanya Burkamesset's Peachy Glow palette, which I love. So beautiful. Um, also have the Naked Urban Decay on the Run palette, which I use in a Sherlock tutorial. Like this video if you remember that. And then the Revolution Redemption palette, iconic too. Um, I think that's it for this. Um, I also have like a little misguided body mist and also I have a spare NYX setting spray that I'm going to need to pop out in any makeup wipes. But I just thought I would show you that. And also my brushes sit here so I have all my brushes in here. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you soon with another video. Bye.